Hi all, welcome back to Anis Caritator's vlog. See, in this video today we are going to discuss uh, one of the important uh, topic and the last module of CBSC class 11th informatic practice that is society law and ethics. Okay. See, in this unit, uh, the one of the important topics cyber safety that we are going to discuss in detail. See, first of all, you have to understand what is cyber safety. See, in today's age, cannot be even thought of without uh, internet, even in dreams. That means we all are living in a 21st century. So, we all know what is the important of uh, internet in our daily life. See, although internet has made many things easier, but at the same time, it has posed many security risks too. If not used in a proper way. Suppose if you are not using your internet in a proper way, or if you are not bothered about the security risk, if you are not bothered about the security features, so then that will make some problems. See, in this chapter, we are uh, mainly dealing with the possible risk and threat on internet and safety measures to avoid them. Okay, what is cyber safety? First, you have to understand what is cyber safety. Cyber safety is nothing but refers to the safe and responsible use of internet to ensure the safety and security of personal information and not posing threat to anyone else's information. That also very important. So see the most pointer refers to the safe and responsible way of using internet to ensure safe and security of personal information. That means it is one of the safe and responsible way of using internet along with you how to ensure the safety and security of your personal information at the same time not posing threat to anyone else's information also. Now, it involves gaining knowledge about possible threat to personal safety and security risk for the information along with measures to prevent and counter them. So you have to understand uh, what are the possible threat on internet and uh, how, how to overcome or what are the possible uh, measures uh, to avoid or to prevent the uh, security threats that uh, things you have to understand first safely browsing the web safe browsing on web need you to know many things what are the possible danger first you have to understand what are the possible dangers or threat on internet and how to avoid or how to overcome or how to avoid this threat and how to virtually conduct yourself while browsing the internet and now that means how to protect uh, your identity from others how to protect while in using the internet or while browsing how to protect your identity that also you have to understand see we can ensure our safety while browsing the web by the following tips given below see before you start update your software first you have to update your software protect yourself before you start browsing uh, web by making sure that your operating system that means your windows or your operating system web browser which web browser you are using that you have to update properly if it is mozilla or google chrome whatever it is that you have to update properly and security software that means antivirus software and all you have to update properly browser plugin uh, plugins browser plugins like java or adobe products everything you have to update and other applications are up to date then that is the first way of uh, uh, providing safety one is protect your web browser you can adjust the setting in your web browser to work in more or less secure way the most web browser will give you warnings uh, when they detect that you are visiting a malicious content pay attention to these warnings they can help protect you from malware phishing and identity theft see in web browser itself one option is there uh, that is uh, for blocking some website some enabling some security features through that we can protect some uh, unauthorized access or some malware or phishing some advice and all we can block the third one observe safe online behavior you should observe the following measures while browsing the web significantly reduce your risk of being victim of cyber crime use a strong and unique password that's very important that means you have to use a strong password the pass your first password must contain some letters and some digits and some special characters so it will provide more security uh, to your account see and download files and application only from those website that you trust such as official app store mm -hmm. uh, do not download any softwares from uh, unauthorized website so uh, sometime uh, that will steal your details so that also you are just keeping your mind while browsing the internet 
and um, pause a pause and think before clicking on the link and email message on our social networking site that means please be uh, careful while clicking these uh, links from unauthorized people from unknown messages or uh, unknown persons message and all and beware of offers that seems too good to be to leave website that you ask for your personal or banking details in return for money and this has come see you, we all know sometimes frequently we all are getting some junk mails you can see my mouse pointer in some junk mail they are asking they are, they are simply telling you got one lottery of uh, uh, 2 lakh rupees or something like that so you have to give your personal details your banking details for over transferring the amount like that they are simply sending some junk mails okay we all are getting that type of messages see and uh, so there that time you have to understand these and all scam mail these and all junk mails okay uh, don't give your uh, personal details or bank details your credit card details for these type of uh, messages or don't uh, reply for these type of messages that is very important and uh, fourth method is online transaction handling that is one of the very important you all know nowadays we all are doing all the transaction through online while making purchase online check if the site is reputed and refund policy see before doing the purchase you have to check the site has the site is reputed sometimes some of the company they are you all know amazon or ebay and like that companies okay Now then the some uh, fraud people so some hackers they are created Mm, the same website some website it is same as that of amazon a reputed uh, e-commerce website then people will think it is a it is the original website so they will enter their own details and sometimes it is a chance to what chance to steal your details or chance to hack your account so be careful before entering your detail you have to understand you have to check it is reputed and this website have a refund policy that also you have to check it while making the payment check that you are using a secure connection your connection you have to check it and check the web browser and uh, check the url also url http that high protection transfer protocols also you have to check it in uh, in url you can check that uh, ssl security layers certificate also some website that lock symbol no lock symbol it is sometime it is open in url area so that we can easily understand this website have not that much this connection have not that much secure so chance will be there for stealing your details so that also you have to keep in your mind and be careful and if the website looks suspicious or you have doubt do not proceed okay and ad block features of your browser stop the malware just enable the ad block you all know sometime some you are at the time of uh, browsing uh, you are all, you all are getting some unwanted advertisement that you can block through the some features of your uh, web browser through the features of web browser you can block it then avoid using public computers on wifi and hotspots that we all know sometimes some public places they are free, freely they are giving some you know, wifi or hotspots and uh, in airport and all you can see some public computers also see while using this computer it is quite difficult you can simply browse on internet but don't give your don't try to open your email account or your personal account your facebook account and all so chance will be there for uh, stealing your details and personal your passwords and username so avoid using public computers and wifi and hotspot then fifth one is cookies and securities okay what is cookie this is one of the important topic in cbc class 11th ip see here we can expect a two more questions in most of the exam they are asking what is cookies okay then if you have a concern about your privacy you could consider clearing the cookies regularly from your computer or device you have to clear regularly you have to clear up your cookies actually what is cookies cookies are nothing but a small text file or bit of information left on your computer by website you have visited which let them remember the things about you that means it is nothing but the uh, history that means whatever things you searched through that web browser a copy of that your uh, website see copy of that Uh, your history that will be uh, that will store in the browser that is cookies and the uh, sixth one bookmark important sites see if there are sites you visited regularly it is a good idea to bookmark them in your browser a, misp- a mistyped address could take you to a false sites okay see if you want to access some website even suppose if it is if you want to access your gmail account that if you are accessing regularly better you have to bookmark it 
then uh, next time you can easily access and avoid what avoid some uh, this uh, avoid some fraud attack how we can avoid means sometime if you have uh, mistyped your address uh, that website url address you mistype sometime it will take you to the false sites um, uh, false fraud site See that's all about uh, cyber safety. I hope uh, this topic is clear. And if you have any doubt, you can put into our comment section, and you will get a reply uh, as earlier as possible. And see if you like this video, please like and share with your friends. Uh, please subscribe our channel for more great videos. And uh, thank you all. Thank you for watching and is Karthik Arjun's vlog.